we had moved several times uh, in, our, in our married life, and in fact, we kind of downsized in the, uh, around 2003. So this particular move, our objective was to go from a two-story townhome to a single level. We're over 75, so we decided uh, we need to get into a single level uh, unit. We talked to some people at Mary, what was the name of the group? It's AGE, I'm not sure if it's Austin Groups for the Elderly. Yes. Is that what it is? Yes, and um, we and talked- They were very helpful with ideas. And that was the first time I ever heard about the idea of someone helping us totally move. Through the, the lady from AGE, that's how we learned about you. Yes. She, she mentioned she was very, she said, if you want a good job and you want to do very little yourself, she said she'd seen your work and she was very impressed. So we said, gosh, that sounds it sounds awesome. too good. <laughs> when you pass 75 and with my health issues, the concept and the idea of moving, packing and moving boxes is just not going to happen. Well, what I remember most of all is that you had a staff of several young women who came and took pictures of our apartment and took pictures of the walls and how we had the pictures arranged on the walls and took pictures of the furniture and how it was arranged. And um, that was how we began. Right, the planning, pre-planning, I thought was very, very well done. Uh, they knew quite well what, what was, they were gonna encounter the day of the move. I, I kept, I had in the back of my mind continually, how are they going to do this in one day? I, I can't envision taking everything we had, as much as we had, and getting it boxed, packed, brought here, unpacked, put away, and all of that in one day. I, I was skeptical to begin with. So uh, it was, it was just, a, just a wonderful experience when to see it happen. Talk to us about the floor plan of the new apartment. Mm -hmm. And it may have been you, I don't remember, was it you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, we talked about where the furniture would fit into our new apartment and agreed on that. Um, the day of the move, we had several young men, I don't know, five or six, and five or six young women, and they were so enthusiastic, and they were young, and it was a delight to have, I had dreaded moving. I had talked to my doctor about it, and I said, all these things are going wrong. I have sickness in my family. We have to move, and it was a wonderful day. They're, they're, the energy they brought to the job and they were very creative. We had a couple of issues we wanted to get resolved and I wasn't sure how to do it. But they came up with some creative solutions for them. And, and they just had an enthusiasm that just set you at ease. They just, uh, uh, they, they just enjoyed what they were doing. Oh, it was wonderful. Their youth had influenced the way they had arranged the house. So it didn't look like old people lived there. <laughs> And they had taken our interests into consideration, so they know that we love things from New Mexico, our Native American art, and we had pictures of grandchildren and relatives, and they had incorporated those into the design with the pictures and the uh, objects of art. And they had done it in a contemporary way, so it didn't look like old people living there. And um, I was so happy the beds were made so we could just go straight to bed. Um, we haven't changed anything. <laughs> All the kitchen implements were in their drawers. The china was unpacked and in the china cabinet. All the kitchen, um, the dishes that we use every day were in their cabinets. What, what I remember and what, what really, really impressed me is that they basically all stayed to see our reaction. It's like they had created something and they wanted to see what we would think of it. And you could tell 
they, they had debated and talked about, should this go here, should this go here, and, and all of these things. Because they had taken our ideas, basic ideas, and improved upon them. So they, they stayed, and I think they enjoyed watching us react positively and say, my gosh, look at this. Look at this. At and least this. one of the young ladies had interior decorating skills. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she had studied interior decorating, but uh, she was very good. Based on our recent experience, I would say anyone over the age of 75, I use that as an arbitrary number, but it could be 70 for everyone's situation is different. But we are realistic. Age has changed some of our behaviors, uh, positives and negatives. And so moving is stressful and can be a very physically stressful as well as mentally stressful uh, activity. And we can't fool ourselves. We can't do what we did 20, 30 years ago. So they such seriously consider this type of service. The service is so well organized and it puts you so much at ease that uh, it's just refreshing when it's over. Well, I attend uh, classes at the Y in aqua fitness or um, water aerobics, and we have a large range age-wise of people that participate. And some of them are as young as in their 30s, and then they range on up to even a couple in their 90s. But I have told everybody about this experience because it was so wonderful. And I think uh, prof young professionals who work and just don't have time mm -hmm. to um, get everything prepared to move and they don't want to fill boxes with books and have to carry those and get friends to help. And um, if they can afford it, I would recommend um, an easy, uh, it's just a piece of cake. <laughs> just do it on a weekend and, and you don't have to worry about it. Well, in the past, every time we moved, we had our grown children help us, friends. And I know now from being on the other side, if a friend calls and says they're moving and we feel obligated to help them, we're like, oh no, that, you know, that's our Saturday. And, and now I would hate asking people to help us move. But this way, we had no packing to do. We did not have to carry big boxes of books. We did not have to wrap our china which was my great-grandmother's. Um, nothing was broken on this move, but the main pleasure was we did not have to pack it or carry it to the, give it to the movers. Um, we just left the house in the morning, we left it as it was, uh, came home that night. We, we went to the lake that day, had a lovely day, came home at seven o'clock, Everything was ready to go to bed. Everything was in its place. When you analyze a move and think about everything from organization, packing, what do you keep, what do you get rid of, uh, finding a mover to actually do the physical work, then when it all gets to the new location, where does it go, unpack, what do you do with the loose boxes? Would all, every little step of the way is another agonizingly anxiety producing little this question for you. What do we do with this? What do we do with that? With uh, your service, it's all taken care of. The pre-planning is so thorough, we get out of the way, we show up, and all of those tasks are done, and not only done, but done very, very well, because the people you have are so creative and so energetic and so into what they are doing that uh, the end result is we're home. And in the past, when we have moved, we've had boxes that remained unpacked <laughs> for years. Uh, this way, there was... There was not one box left. They were all gone. And the boxes that 
uh, cardboard boxes were out of sight. They were gone. Well, I do. I have been recommending Austin Home Transitions to all my friends of any age. <laughs> Excellent. And sir? I would definitely recommend Austin Home Transitions for anyone interested in an anxiety-free uh, moving experience.